Happy Thursday, everyone. I'm Jen Houston, owner of the Artsy Fartsy Gallery. I'm a full-time independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Kenmore, Alberta, Canada. I'm so glad you're popping on. I have a card to give away today. I have a great uh, template idea to use up some of your scrap pieces of paper or if you are looking for ideas on uh, how to use the celebration paper, the free <laughs> celebration paper. This is a great layout that you're gonna be able to play with today. So uh, first off, I want to, oh, let's see a little thing. It's giving me a warning here. Sorry, everybody's seeing my big arm. All right, let's go to this, okay, get off of there. There we go. All right, so last week, let's hold it up the right way. Last week, I did this card during the Creative Escape. It was a floating gatefold card using the little uh, Hello Ladybug bundle. And here it is. And so I'm going to be giving this away to somebody who posted one of their projects that was using the floating gatefold. Hi Lisa, hi Holly, Norma Jean, Sue, good morning. Good to see everybody. Lisa Harden, while well, I remember. Uh, Lisa normally goes live on Thursday evenings, but she is going to be going, she said to hopefully, <laughs> la la land in the evening because she is going to the oral surgeon. It's almost as happy as having bugs in your nuts. But anyways. <laughs> Uh, we wish Lisa all the best as she goes there and yes, she deserves a big rest tonight. So uh, We won't be seeing her live today, but I'm sure she'll pop on probably during the weekend at some point All right. Hello everyone that just popped on Roz and Denise Carla Yeah, that card was so cute and it was lots of fun to make so I love this bundle I didn't, I didn't know. I was kind of humming and hawing whether I would bother to do a live with it. But, you know, I'm so glad I did because there's so many ways that you can use it. And if you missed all that, uh, this was last week's feature of the week. And so there were so many ideas with uh, that bundle. All right. So just like these ladies have popped on and said hello. If I have never met you, my name is Jen and I do all things Stampin' Up, all things paper crafting. And so I sell all of the products that I use to make cards and paper crafting projects. I love them because they all coordinate. So the polished pink cardstock matches with the polished pink ribbon, matches with the polished pink cardstock and so on so lots of uh i love that feature about it so it makes crafting super duper easy and their project products are super quality and uh, so it makes things easier to work with that's for sure hi ethel good morning barbara yeah great to see everybody so yes comment ask questions um, lots of these ladies you've probably met on here through uh, throughout the comments here um, and Kathy good morning so yes ask questions if I forget some of the measurements if I forget so, what some of the items that I'm using today are called no worries they'll be on my blog later on today so that you can um, get all caught up that's what you love about stamping up too mm-hmm I'm drinking water today. <laughs> All right. Your email with your ladybug creation, creations was a class. If you aren't signed up to get Jen's emails, you're missing out. Yes. That's why I'm reading around my little camera here. <laughs> the, the comments are there. All right. So let's uh, flip over screens here and let's pick a winner from the people that um, posted their projects last week so these are all the ladies that i know of <laughs> hopefully i haven't missed anybody but for the floating gatefold minnie posted three different projects that she's a couple she that she's done in the past but i wanted to show them because they're absolutely amazing and such great ideas and then she did one uh specifically for this week so but i wanted to post them all 
All right, so here we go. Here are the names of the participants. And let's click to spin that wheel. Oh, it's so Oh, it's so close. So close. I bet Karen was holding her breath, right? And same with Linda. Congratulations, Linda. You're going to be getting this card in the mail. I'm so happy to send that to you. All right. So on to, let me get rid of the screen. We're going to go on to this one, this one, this one, this one, buttons, buttons, buttons. On to our card today. It's a bay, fold, bay window fold. Now, I had never made one before, and I'll tell you what happened was I got inspiration from Minnie, who I just said uh, posted so many different cards using this, this uh, the other template. Well, she sent me this beautiful Christmas card, and I had never made this fold before. Didn't even know what it was called, and I just had to use it this week when we were doing all of the celebration papers. So if you have never made an, a bay fold card, um, now's your time to do it. Uh, if you have done one, maybe this is a reminder of lots of fun. Maybe you are part of Lisa Hardin's The Christmas, um, kind of a Christmas throughout the year Facebook page. This might be a great idea to kill two birds with one stone. You can get out all your Christmas papers, create a Bayfold card. You can do some entries into Lisa's Facebook page. You can do entries into my page. And who knows? You could win win twice. I don't know. Anyway, so there is Minnie's beautiful card. And it is the inspiration for today's projects. Yeah, you've been wanting to make these? Oh, oh, I'm so happy, Ross. That's awesome. Okay, um, I will sh show you my examples later. Let's get out all our card pieces, what we need today. So once again, if you missed um, the measurements and whatnot before that I had posted before, uh, we will get you caught up. Um, and if you're just kind of don't have a pen and paper, that's okay. They're going to be all on my blog later on today. All right, so what you need here first off is our card base. I'm using Flirty Flamingo and it is measured at 11 by four and a quarter. And then we're going to do some scoring. So our first score line is at the three eighths inch. So just a tiny little strip. Our next one is one and seven eighths. The next score line is three and five eighths. Next one's five and one eighth. And our regular kind of folded in half, five and a half inches. So there we go. There's that. Then we're going to need a piece for the card insert. I'm using very vanilla, very vanilla. My mouth is stuck together. Swirl it all around. <laughs> thinking of Lisa as I do that <laughs> all right this is three and a quarter inch by four and one eighth and that's going to be for the card insert then you're going to need two pieces can be totally different can be all the same can mix and match oh so many options but you're going to need two pieces of designer series paper so that's the pattern paper measuring four and one eighth by one and three eighths. Okay. And then two pieces. There are two here. They look like they're <laughs> two pieces at four and one eighth again by five and one, uh, no, one and five eighths. So just a tiny bit bigger, those two. All right. So we've got four little strips. Like I said, mix and match. You can change up the colors basically. These are just the opposites of the paper. Pick and choose how you like. And then for the front, just like Minnie, I wanted to add something a little bit exciting on the outside. So 
I've got my Encircled in Friendship stamp set out here and dies and I love these dies because they are so intricate and delicate and lacy and pretty so I thought it would go so nicely with the flowers this encircled in friendship stamp set I'll be using and I think we're ready to roll okay so first off I'm gonna do my little stamping piece so I'm using you're the best <laughs> love that wouldn't you like a card in the mail that says that I would you're the best um what color of ink should I use I'm gonna where it's going on pale papaya let's see do we go with flirty flamingo do we switch it up do we just do black decisions decisions I think I'm just gonna stick with black I like using the memento black it's nice and crisp and clean and I love how these encircled in friendships, the dyes kind of layer on top of each other, but they're all different. Hello, Karen. Thanks for sharing, Roz. Whoop, whoop. You're awesome. That helps my business. So yes, if you are enjoying these videos that I do on Thursday or enjoying um, all the posts that I put on my blog every week, uh, I would love it if you could share this video because that helps me out a lot. All right, so there's my piece that needs to be stamped. Um, I'm actually going to, this is the card insert. So while I've got the items out, I might as well get everything all done. So this is a cute little kind of a lily. Isn't it pretty? Just to add with our little, um, the blue the fancy um, flowers on the front of the paper and then this says in a world where you can be anything thank you for being kind isn't that nice that'll go with you're the best and you know me I like to put the sayings and sentiments on the bottom or top so they're kind of out of the way when I want to want, want to write I never understand <laughs> If you put the sentiment in the middle, I, I don't know how to work around that. I just, you know, big problems, right? All right, so I think later on I'm going to color this in with Flirty Flamingo and Pale Papaya and the colors that kind of match with this, all right? So I'm not going to bore you with that, um, but that is it for stamping. Easy peasy. So all the fun is in with the paper and the... Uh, unfold all right so there were all the scores good morning Linda from Linda and Karen at work <laughs> at work with crafting or uh, work 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 all right so we're gonna fold this in half like a typical book just half half um, then you've got this little strip right here right next to the half mark we're gonna fold it back you're gonna need to get your tear and tape so if you don't have tear and tape put it on your list uh, you can use stamp and seal I would use the plus because this tends to open up a lot I found um, I've tried liquid glue you kind of have to since it's such a small area you kind of have I what I did was I just put a block on it just to help hold it down um, you'll see what I mean in a second but what I like to do this is so easy. Tear and tape. <laughs> what a perfect name. So I'm just running it along that little scored piece, but I'm also going to put one right on the other side as well because we want this to be super stuck. Okay. Boop. So we want it hanging over. I'll just cut that little piece off and stick it somewhere which I'll stick to something else later <laughs> okay so I've just got two little strips here so now I'll take off the backing well but is snoring and we're just gonna close it back up so close just fold it right in half just kind of give this a nice little squish with your bone folder and then once again, we can kind of 
there we go okay so this is just kind of hinged here all right and then with your bone folder you can kind of fold these fold along those score lines that last little score line we're gonna fold up okay back on itself if you will because it needs to kind of open and so now you can sort of see the mechanism here get some water again <coughs> that went down <coughs> The wrong pipe, excuse me. <coughs> hmm. Okay. So I'm going to start off with my two smaller pieces. So I'm going to pick one of them. And I'm going to use my liquid glue here. Multi-purpose liquid glue. I like to put it in a little shot glass. I uh, There's tons of little shot glasses at the second-hand store, so... I lose this one or I need more for classes and whatnot it's a great place to go to grab a few more so we're laying this not of course on that first little score line cinnamon just woke me for breakfast it's 4 45 a.m. oh Angie. <laughs> well there you go <laughs> so it's going along that first bigger panel all right, so now this middle panel is going to take one of the pieces that's a little bit larger. And I thought since that other, I'm going to be putting this fancy little layer on there. This one, if it doesn't have too much detail or whatnot, why not? So here we go again. Can you see how this would be amazing for little scraps of piece of paper, of paper that you could use up? Or, you know, if you're a paper hoarder... <laughs> You're out there get out that paper and use it up I mean it's beautiful on your cupboard but the it's meant to go you know be a blessing to somebody else right all right so back to the small so we're doing small big small and it just fits inside those score lines okay so there's not a whole lot of wiggle room between the scores and the the paper so that's kind of the the good part about it is that um, you don't have a whole bunch in between all right our front is pretty well complete we'll just add a few more things on there sorry um okay and then we have one strip of paper left and what we're gonna do there's some different options um like Minnie she put her sentiment on the in or on this layer. So what she did was actually glued down the piece of designer series paper, but popped up the sentiment so that it tucks underneath like so. I'm going to show you another way that you can do this so that if you don't want to put a sentiment there, you don't have to. So what we're going to do is actually get out our dimensionals. And I know that this is the side that I'm going to be tucking this layer underneath, okay? So when I'm putting dimensionals, I'm not going to be putting them too, too close to this side because I want a little space that they can kind of tuck under. Hi, Donna. No worries. All right, so we're going to just, you know, leave a little room there. And I'm putting on lots of dimensionals. I want it to be super stuck. So it's not moving around. It's going to kind of get pushed on and pulled on. So if I put lots on, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Making sure it's super stuck. All right. So now I'm going to put this layer. Remembering to leave this edge facing the oh, don't stick down yet that inside like so so it's a little bit popped up all right so now what you can do is actually tuck this whole piece underneath 
like so. Okay? So instead of just having your sentiment as your tuck thing, you can actually have your whole strip of paper helping to hold it. All right, just something to be mindful. I know, oh, yes, Michelle, I know one of my team members was, was making this card and she was like, you know, I think the sentiment here was too big, so then it was kind of, kind of making it go crooked. So just try to make sure your sentiment fits nicely inside this designer series paper area. Because if it's, if it's a little bit out farther, I mean, it'll work, but it just kind of makes your bay window extra bayish, <laughs> if you know what I mean. All right, our last step is to glue this piece right on the inside. And apparently I've cut this wrong, so let's fix this. This should be four and one eighth. Oh yeah, way off. <laughs> and like I said earlier, I'm gonna go and color this piece later on. All right. So one eighth or four and one eighth, it's just a little bit bigger, so you don't have as much wiggle room along the outside. You have just a tiny, tiny border. And it's still Tucks under there, fabulous. And sometimes you just have to give it a little push to kind of make it nice and even. All right, cool thing is that it all lays flat when you send it in the mail. All right, I'm gonna add this little piece to the front. And so I, of course I have to be mindful that I'm only putting glue kind of inside this area, otherwise, <laughs> If it goes on the outsides here, of course, it's not gonna open very well. So here, I'm just gonna put a little strip on the inside portion. Lay that down. And I think I wanna pop that layer up. Oh, I have a few little pieces that didn't get poked, poked, poked out. <laughs> Poked it. Look at me go. Oh my goodness. There. Pop up that layer. Isn't this cute? I don't know why I haven't made these before, but I'm going to be making lots of these now. <laughs> They're very simple. It's just the scoring measurements you have to, you know, kind of remember and whatnot. But uh, really, they're a simple card. To make. And there we go. Easy peasy. I almost think I want to do something here. Hmm. Seems too plain. Wonder. I will do something there and we'll we'll do a little surprise for you. Um, Let's get out some bling at least. At the very least, we need bling. Uh, you know, those champagne rhinestones, they get me every time. I think they're just, they go with so many things. Oh, I love them. Get your take your pick tool. Let's add some bling kind of along the sides there. You're the best, period. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. We'll do an odd number. Yep, yeah, I, I think I'm going to actually cut out a, one of these flowers from this paper and maybe just add it right there. Or I can, let's see, what else could I do? You'll see later. You'll see later. Ribbon? Yes, you could do ribbon. Um, bum, bum, bum. Let's see. I do have my kale papaya. Now you could put ribbon along here. Um, I think that might 
might look pretty. The only thing is that I could have, I should have put it on before I put the dimensionals on and down. Um, you can also put, you know, a little twine and before you put the um, tear and tape, then you can do that. Anyways, I'll, I'll, I'll figure something out and show you. It'll be a surprise. Thank you, Juanita. A flower would be pretty. Hopefully that works. Yeah. Okay. So there are the measurements. Now let me show you the other cards that I made as examples. So my first one, using some of the celebration pa paper was, let's just show you all the papers. So I decided to use kind of a blue, kind of greeny, the blue greeny tones from the set. So here's my little strip of green, the rainbows, of course, and the blue. I My cloud punch arrived, so I had to play with it. So I just cut along the edge so it fit inside here. I couldn't, I, I tried to leave it just as one piece. Didn't look so well, that's okay. Um, so I cut it and just made it so that it, it would fold properly. And as my little tuck in piece, I just did a little cloud punch and just trimmed it off so that it would stay inside the designer series paper area and this just sits under that little cloud there and there we go there's a little cloud using or a little card using all free paper that's one example another example that i did was using the marvelous paper now i don't know if you have seen this but do you notice that it's a little bit uh, colored? So normally it's just blue and white. Well, what I did to make the Northern Lights is that I got out my blend, uh, blending brushes. I believe I used Granny Apple Green and I just rubbed different colors over top of the blue. I know I used Fresh Freezer Highland Heather here and then I got that mountain, see, that mountain um, die so that it looks like there's a mountain along the bottom and you're looking at the northern lights. Isn't that neat how that, that effect works from that free paper? Yeah, so there's some ideas for you. And then lastly, I decided to get out the Horizons paper, New Horizons paper, and make a sympathy card. Now this one, I decided to add, I want it to, it to be free flowing all the way across. So there's, um, compared to this one, you know, I did keep the pattern moving here, but this one I added a little strip here and continued it all the way across same you know so you can use a patterned piece of designer series paper with a kind of scene on it and go all the way across or like we did you can break it up and do all different designs you can um, you know mix and match which designs you use totally up to you and there's the year in my thoughts so lots of examples, some tuck underneath the whole scene, some tuck underneath a little area or a sentiment, so many varieties. It's pretty and calming, yeah, you know, and what perfect paper to use for this. I love it. So you could use all the different scenes and make like a whole collection. Wouldn't that be nice to give away as a gift? I know lots of people need sympathy cards and uh, it's a simple way to create such a, a fun card something a little different but something that's not like over the top jazzy save for a sympathy card new horizons is your current favorite yeah it goes with so many things makes card making so simple because all the detail and whatnot it's already done for you you just have to add a sentiment and make it it's done because it speaks for itself. I love that when it does that. All right. So 
So there are some examples. So now it's your turn. Your job is... <gasps> Come on. There we go. Your job is to give this layout a try, the bay window fold a try, and um, show me your examples. So you have all week to put one together using the products that you have on hand. Um, you just made 10 yesterday? <laughs> wow, they go fast, yeah. That's awesome. So use the strips of paper you have at home, use different stamp sets and whatnot that you have at home. They don't have to be the exact same as me. They don't have to be even be the celebration papers that uh, we are featuring this week. So um, just use what you have, show me a picture, and you'll be entered into a draw to win the card that I make today. That I made today, oh, the sun's come out. So now we're super bright, I'm glowing. All right, so, and if any of this, these products interested you and you wanna get them into your hands, of course, I sell these items and would love to help you get the, them so that you can create along with us and uh, bless somebody uh, with the, your handmade beauties. All right, I think that's it. Tomorrow I'm gonna have one more fun layout idea for you. It'll be on my blog, so check back at 10.30 Mountain Time and it'll be ready for you to have a look at. If you haven't checked out the different layout ideas that I put out on Monday and Wednesday, go have a look at them. They're super simple and are uh, a quick way to make some fun cards and use up some of that paper that people like to hoard. Um, other than that, I will see you back next week with a brand new feature of the week where we kind of look over some ideas that you can make with a certain bundle. Such an easy, beautiful card. Thank you. Oh, I love to hear that. That's awesome. All right. I hope you all have a great week and weekend and we'll talk to you again next week. Bye everyone.